What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today, guess what? We're going to be talking about Shifty again. This guy has been allowed into yet another tournament against a lot of other Warzone players who don't seem happy about it. Although it seems to have caused a divide again in the competitive scene. A lot of people claiming that Shifty is legit and a lot of people calling him out for his bullshittery claiming him to be a cheater. Now we all know here on this channel that Shifty TV is definitely using Gamebot based on the gameplay we've already seen. We actually put our first video out on Shifty back on February 17th this year. And since that, he's still been able to compete in two big money tournaments. Now it may not be big money to some, but I'll tell you now it's big money to others. Shifty TV was allowed to compete in yet another tournament last night. And it's caused absolute uproar. So we're going to get into the details of that today. If you do enjoy the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. Right, let's crack on with the video. So we're just going to get straight into it. Juted has actually taken to Twitter with a three-parter. And in that three-parter, he's attached video clips where he's decided to break down some of Shifty's gameplay. The first tweet says, I've had to sit on this video for a while as I wait for confirmation to post it, but here's the best proof that Shifty TV is cheating. These are all the clips that I've found in a single 10 hour VOD, with a few exceptions. There's one out of three, two out of three, and three out of three, right? So we're going to get into them today and have a look at what you had actually found. Because hey, let's be honest, at any point, if you were to watch Shifty's aim, you would find aimbot. At least before last night, anyway. So we're going to take a look at the videos that you had shared. All right. So I want to start this off by showing that none of these clips have been altered or edited. Um, these are all from Shifty's Twitch streams. Um, these are all from the Boom TV 15K qualifier that was, I believe, on March 8th. Um, now, again, these are all Shifty's clips. Um, so the very first one here, um, he actually pre-aims on this guy on the bridge here. Now, when he pulls out his Bren, you're going to notice that his crosshair here. Is going to be perfectly centered on that guy right there and as he strafes to the right it still remains perfectly centered when he ads's it again is perfectly centered um now he does start missing shots i believe he does toggle off here um or he's just missing them because of bullet velocity but nevertheless he gets a kill there uh these ones are nothing crazy i mean it is perfect centering as i go through it the second one it's perfect centering as well but it's weird on the third guy there that he just took a shot at over the little camper whatever this is um, so right here as he turns the corner, flicks on him, remains perfect centering the whole way through. So I just go through this frame by frame. He does flick over here. Uh it's actually good to see the build up to that moment because we actually featured that clip in one of our videos about Shifty. And you can see the whole build up to that where not a single bullet was missed to the point where he had two enemies down and literally took a couple of shots at one enemy, which was out in the distance. You couldn't really see anything. But he hit every shot and then realized little bit of a distance between them did he really have the prior knowledge so then he started the rotation but he then come around here and finished the guy who was self-reviving and then this one but this is the one we actually focused on in our video because his aim literally snapped onto the enemy and then tracked perfectly like did not move locked on with a small snap and then tracked perfectly but the whole build up to that just makes that little moment there even more suspicious well not suspicious makes it even more a hundred percent cheating right Let's continue watching this. Uh, flicks back on him, onto the chest, and hits every single bullet as the guy's running across the screen. Um, this one doesn't look weird when I play it in full speed, but when I do play it back, uh, one thing that he does very often is he waits for people to run across his crosshair, and then he'll toggle on them. So he sticks perfectly on him, on the chest the whole way through here, and even follows the guy through the jump. So if I just go back here again, uh, he does follow the guy frame by frame through the jump. And I just want to point out that, that that explanation right there is perfect. The fact that he waits for an enemy to run into his crosshair. So if somebody was to place their aim in front of an enemy's direction of travel, then as soon as that enemy runs to the crosshair, the aim would stick with them. This would stop any snap or any lock. If you are behind the enemy and you try and catch up, there might be a slight snap in your aim if you have aimbot on or if you toggle on at that point. But as he's mentioning, the shifty has his aim in a position, majority of the time, where an enemy will be running into the crosshair. Now, I've actually explained this as something that's been done and used in the past by many other top-level streamers. 
And I've been told to get good and said that this is something that a good player will do, predicting the enemy's movement. Eight hours a day won't predict the exact location an enemy's going to run to. It will not predict your perfect tracking every time. But what this guy's explaining here about Shifty's aim is perfect. He allows the enemy to run into his crosshair, which would be allowing the enemy to run into his small field of view aimbot which means his aimbot will be locking onto the enemy at that point, or he waits until that point until he toggles the aimbot on to stop any snaps from occurring. Jump right around chest level. Um, doesn't miss a bullet once again, similar to that Welgun clip that I just showed. And gets the kill there. There's two kids in this building. Yeah. I just want to also point out that he mentions in that little moment there about how when the enemy jumps, his crosshair perfectly tracks the enemy, so it doesn't just move from left to right, as anybody would track, as soon as the enemy jumped, his aim stuck in the same location on the enemy all the way through. It went in a line and then up and down, right? Which isn't natural whatsoever. But we've actually done that for a couple of other streamers on this channel as well and demonstrated how that isn't natural. But many of their fans have stuck up for them, stating that that happens with aim assist. Now this one here, there's a guy probably about, that ping is 70 meters. This is probably about 60 meters away. Now he does toggle on this guy right here, locks onto him, stays perfect centering the whole way through. Uh, as the guy gets to the platform, once again, waits for his, the guy to cross his crosshair and then perfect centers on him once again. Uh, now when the guy jumps off the train, there is a weird flick there that you can see. Um, and as I play it back frame by frame, he flicks on the guy. This is all 88 cents, by the way. Um, and, and the it's not a flick. That is what you call an aimbot snap, and it is blatant. So that, again, was because his crosshair was behind the enemy. So his crosshair was behind the enemy before he toggled his aimbot on, causing that small snap. Whereas in the other clip, when his crosshair was in the direction of travel of the enemy, causing the enemy to run into it, there was absolutely no lock or snap that occurred. But in this instance, it actually caused the aim to snap because his crosshair fell behind the enemy, causing his aim to speed up and catch up to the enemy's movement. So there is definitely suspicion within all of that. There is definitely, well, it's a hundred percent cheats. Everything this guy has put out in this clip and explained is factually correct. Everything he's pointing out is exactly what you should be looking for in somebody who is a rage hacker. Shifty's aim is not soft aim, but by any means, although a lot of people, including Blast, who originally called out Shifty, are claiming it to be soft aim. This is not soft aim. This is what you call hard lock aimbot. He is literally snapping onto enemies. He has no movements in his aim once he's locked on. That is 100% aimbot in use. Shifty isn't trying to hide it in my opinion. I'm sitting here wondering whether or not this guy is actually trying to troll the whole competitive scene to cause this type of uproar at this point. Because if they all start turning on each other, people defend them. People admit he's cheating, that causes arguments within the scene, causing doubt in a lot of people who defend him and so on. What if he's been put in there, or what if he put himself in there, to actually cause all of this drama in the competitive scene of Warzone? Now that was one of three, this is two of three, there's more clips to follow after this one as well, so we're going to just try and watch these through. I'm just going to let you guys listen to what you did had to say on it. You hear this breakdown in the first clip. We know it's solid, exactly how he's breaking it down. He understands what he's talking about. So let's have a listen to what he's got to say throughout this. Uh, now this one, first kill isn't too weird. It's the second kill where it gets weird. Now again, uh, he's going to place his cross here in front of the guy. As the guy comes across it right here, he's going to perfectly center on the guy through these bushes. Um, and Combat Scout gives it away that, I mean, again, you don't get aim assist through these as well. So Combat Scout gives it away that he's on perfect centering that whole time. Now the guy on the top of the hill here, he's going to do the same thing. Um, he's going to kind of lock onto him and uh, follow the guy through the jump. Uh, so you can see the kind of crosshair kind of jump up a little bit there to follow him. And he remains on him the whole time, perfect centering. All right, the next one here, um, it's kind of just perfect movement prediction. Now if I play it in full speed, it's nothing too crazy. You do see a little bit, a little bit of a jump there. Um, but if I do play it actually frame by frame, you will see him aim in. And as the guy's jumping over, his crosshair follows the guy perfectly on his chest. All right, so I mean, again, it's just one of those things where it's just the best movement uh, prediction I've ever seen. Uh, this next one, he's going to flick onto this guy twice. He's there, comes back, reloads, and goes around the corner and flicks on him again. This one flicks on him, perfect centering through sheet metal. He does miss a few bullets. Um, granted, I think he toggled off part way through or the guy's slide messed it up not too sure but he's looking right here toggles hits the guy every single bullet is just following him 
Sorry, not every single bullet, but he is following pretty well through sheet metal. All right. Now this one, uh, there is a guy in the hills here. Um, and you can't see the guy until he starts gliding across the screen, but you'll see him, his, his cursor jump up right there. And <laughs> centering on him the whole time. Uh, this is a pretty bad one. He's gonna. There's a guy right over here. He's gonna toggle on him as soon as he kicks the door. Enemy UAV there it is. Oh. Once again, it is a really bad one. It's pretty quick. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Yeah, there's no reason for me to be playing any more of this footage. We've seen exactly what Shifty is doing. There is no way you can sit there and say that this guy isn't rage hacking. His aim is literally that of what it's Happy used to put out on Facebook Gaming. But what you've got now is somebody who's managed to find their way into the competitive scene where they're now entering into $15,000 tournaments as well as other tournaments along the way. And people are actually defending him. You've got to ask yourself, why are people defending him? Is it similar to the Metsy B situation where Metsy B was called out by Tommy but other people defended him? And now it all sort of got brushed under the rug. Same as when Wagnificent got caught in a band by Activision because he was caught cheating using engine owning cheats. And then all of a sudden, it all got brushed under the rug after Wagnificent threatened to expose the whitelist. And this was before the whitelist was common knowledge. So now that's all brushed under the rug. Look at Wagnificent, doing well. Look at Metsy, he's on about 20 something thousand followers. These guys have been able to grow after being caught cheating. So maybe Shifty thinks that he's going to do the same thing. Maybe he's managed to find himself in certain Discord servers where other people are, and now they need to defend him to defend themselves. Now, this is all speculation, guys. It's just me explaining my trail of thoughts as to why somebody will be able to defend Shifty's gameplay when it looks like that. Anybody who has defended him to this point needs to be looked at. It is that simple. Shifty TV is 100% using aimbot. And if these guys can't tell that he's using aimbot, then their opinion of any other streamer that I've put a video out on is nil and void. If they can't tell that Shifty is using aimbot in this clip, they do not know what aimbot is. It is that simple. If they're trying to pull this off as saying it's aim assist, <laughs> they should have went to spec savers. Now, I've been trying to keep everybody on my Twitter informed about what's going on throughout. So Sammy, or Mrs. Know-It-All, says after long consideration the co-ed tawny from yesterday will be replayed due to multiple requests from multiple players asking shifty and his duo to be excused from the tawny and any future tournaments anyone who doesn't want a replay will be able to get a refund so a lot of people were saying they wanted shifty out of the tournament or that it needs to be replayed without him in it due to the fact that he's been accused of cheating in the past and then you had magnificent in the comments saying what did he win in the tournament I'll pay him instead. So Wagnificent is willing to sit there and offer to pay Shifty the winnings out of his own money. When he's being accused of cheating, when his aim looks like exactly what we've just seen in those clips, Wagnificent was there straight to the point defending him, offering him with his own money to pay Shifty. What does Wagnificent know or what does Shifty know about Wagnificent? Well, rumour has it, and this is just rumoured at the moment, guys, but I'm still waiting on something to come through. Wagnificent sat on stream and listened to a recording of Shifty talking about his cheats and just before Shifty went into who the cheat provider was, Wagnificent quickly turned the recording off and that stream the next day was gone from his Twitch channel so nobody was able to clip anything from that. I actually tagged Blast originally when Blast called Shifty out and I told him that if you want proof and 100% proof, you need to speak to Wagnificent. And I tagged them both in the tweet and claimed that Wagnificent had the answers to it, if the rumours were true. But since then, Wagnificent has been able to defend Shifty. And the question is, why? Well, something actually occurred after this that caused Wagnificent to change his mind. Wagnificent put out publicly apologising for thinking Shifty wasn't 100% hacked up, but wanted him to be 100% proven and after watching this wager for his scum with the anti-cheat on his PC, he obviously isn't the same player. I was wrong on about him. My bad, sincerely. You even have Bear Pig in the comments saying, glad you noticed it. Was wondering why you backed him up in the first place, to be honest. Which a lot of people are wondering and still will be wondering to this point. But there are people in the comments saying he's legit. There's people still backing up Shifty in the comments of Wagnificent's post. But I decided to add something to a tweet to wonder why Wagnificent would have originally backed up Shifty. Wagnificent acting like he didn't know Shifty was cheating, along with the image of Wagnificent when he got permabanned. 
Magnificent knows what cheats look like. Magnificent has used cheats himself. Magnificent denied, still to this day denied, the fact that he used cheats to get that permaban. And this proves that denying the fact that you cheat can still work, even if you were caught by the game developers themselves in a ban wave that was caused by a detection of a cheat provider being detected. And he was still able to flourish after this in his career and enter into Twitch rivals along with multiple other money tournaments. And Wagnificent was the one really defending Shifty at this point, even offering to pay him out of his own money. So what is Wagnificent trying to hide on behalf of Shifty, or what does Shifty know about Wagnificent? Now I'm asking these questions, and I'm going to try and find the answers out to them at some point. And when I do find the answers out to them, guys, there will be a follow-up video on the matter. But for now, we know Shifty is 100% cheating. We now know as well that half the competitive scene haven't got a clue what Aimbot looks like. So they're not willing to call it out when even Shifty's aim is looking like aim assist to them. That's clearly aimbot. So what you've got to realize, if these guys cannot call Shifty's aim as being 100% aimbot, their opinion doesn't matter when it comes to analyzing someone's gameplay to see whether or not they're cheating or they're trying to hide something for themselves. Well, there you have it, guys. It's safe to say that the ones defending Shifty probably had something to hide themselves. There's absolutely no reason for anybody to defend the person whose gameplay looks like that. Shifty is 100% using aimbot. It is undeniable. But yet, he is still sat there denying it to this point. Even when he has got all eyes on him at this current point in time, even when he has been asked to download an anti-cheat and it's completely changed his gameplay, it does appear that he has now turned off whatever it was he was using. And you may ask why somebody would deny it when it's so blatant. Well, Wagnificent denied cheating when he got permanently banned in the engine owning ban wave in September 2020. And he is still doing okay for himself right now in the competitive scene and as a streamer. So why wouldn't somebody deny it? There are so many people out there who have been able to deny it even when something blatant has occurred. And that is because Call of Duty Warzone players are scared to call out people for cheating because they don't want the backlash. Well, I'm here to tell you I don't care about any form of backlash. I will call somebody out for cheating no matter how big or small they are as a streamer. This guy Shifty has some of the most unnatural aim I've ever seen. There is only one person really who I've seen aim just like him and that is Diaz Biffle. And that might be why there's a big divide in people willing to say that Shifty is cheating. Maybe they've got something to hide themselves. Maybe Shifty knows who else is actually cheating in the comp scene for Call of Duty Warzone. Or maybe other streamers don't want to get involved or don't want to claim him to be a cheater because they realise that Shifty's aim looks identical to a couple of their friends' aim. And this is something you've got to realise, guys. People will definitely sit there and lie for their friends. And I'm telling you now, the Shifty's aim is 100% mechanical and robotic and definitely not human. He is using aimbot, or at least he was, up until he used the face it anti-cheat, which is where his aim went to shit. So guys, as we already know, Shifty is 100% a cheater, but you have just seen today people willing to defend him to the point where Wagnificent was offering to pay this guy's tournament winnings, which makes me believe that Wagnificent is still up to no good, and maybe Shifty knew about that. But this is actually still unfolding as we make this video, so there may actually be a further video on this matter later down the line. Who knows? Maybe Shifty will come out and admit it and then throw everyone under the bus who he knows to be a cheater. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p 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 Peace!